fairgrounds officials say events like the Christmas Village, which brings in some 60,000 people, are vital to the sustainability of the fairgrounds. And they won't be able to keep those events without some drastic changes. We've either got to, to upgrade our facilities here or we move it. You cannot continue as it is uh, with the facilities. Facilities are getting old. They're very difficult to keep up. Fairgrounds Executive Director Buck Dozier says he'd like to see the fairgrounds brought up to speed with similar venues in other states. But a recent study suggests that wouldn't be easy or cheap. One of the uh, scenarios had a ticket price of $150 million. And that is tearing everything down here and starting all over. Dozier says the fairgrounds would need to find a sponsor or sell the naming rights to pay for it. And if not, it might be up to mid-state families. There's bond money, there's uh, tax money, which I think is probably not going to be very uh, palatable to some people. The study says another option is to move the fairgrounds to another location. But Deanna Williams, who's been setting up shop at the Christmas Village for the last five years, says that might not sit well with customers or other vendors. There are some groups that probably would not come back. They just really like it here. They've come here for many years. Option three is to get rid of the much debated fairground speedway. And there's so many people who love the races and so you hate to lose that also.